it is about time we started on the Orphe quest line. I thank you for your help in Noctilum, human. Without you, we would not have reached New L.A. I was just discussing plans for the future with my people. Though discussing plans is an inaccurate and overly human description of our actions. We Orphi are not susceptible to differences in opinion. This activity is merely a final verification for the sake of formality. Very true. We are the servants of the Ova. Disagreement is a practical impossibility. The OVA is our reason for existence, and the incontrovertible will that guides us. It is peace itself to my kind, and also the thread that links us together. In truth, it is somewhat difficult to express in words, but we feel it quite viscerally within us. Tell me, Kun Loarb, where are Sunseleg and Kon Luarb? Gathering them here is your responsibility as our leader. I did not see Sunseleg here, so I sent Khan Luarb out to meet him. Yet, the probability of him arriving tardy was a scant 6.4%. I hope no trouble has befallen him. Khan Luarb, we have a problem. I was searching for Sunseleg, and along the way found evidence of a Definian infiltration here in New LA. Definians? Are they why Sunseleg has not arrived? I already did the Definian questline, I know what they are. Thank you. If you would please present your communication device, I will formalize our contract. We have an agreement then. Con Luar, please share all the pertinent information you have with this human. I last saw Sun's leg on the residential district elevator. I watched him take it up on his way to the man on ship, then return to the residential district myself. Therefore, witnesses should have been present wherever he went from there. As a human yourself, gathering testimony from human residents should be a simple task. Please find where he was taken as quickly as possible. Ah, uh, you did gather information? Oh, it's just around Blade Tower. Shouldn't be too bad. And of course, since I said it shouldn't be too bad. Trouble. Ah. Oh, now we have to do it again? Have you learned anything of Sunseleg's whereabouts? Oblivia? Hmm, troubling news. But it is good fortune he was not killed on the spot. That seems to indicate they feel we are of enough use to merit keeping alive. There may still be time to save Sunseleg. We will make preparations to travel to Oblivia at once. It is best we hurry. The Ova is quite restless. I believe this to be a sign of larger things to come. You are especially attuned to the OVA's nuanced activity. Your concerns certainly merit consideration. 
I request that you travel on ahead and aid Sunselag however you can, Bloom. Whatever his condition, we will use the extent of our knowledge to see him brought home safely, provided he is alive. Definians possess considerable combat prowess, but I am confident you will be victorious. Now please make for Oblivia and aid Sunselag. Discovering locations. Ugh, why did someone have to come along now? Allow me to deduce the reason for your arrival. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, yes, of course. Sunbarak and the others sent you to rescue me. The tables have turned, Definian. Now it is you who is cornered, and with an 89.6% likelihood of your own demise. Quiet, fool! And you, human! Come any closer and this one dies! If you want him to live, you will turn and walk away. A wise choice. She was clearly sent to take me back alive. A Definian underling like her would not have the authority to kill me. If that happened, she would be the next to die as punishment for disobeying orders. Damn you! It's true. I can't kill you. But I can make you wish for death once I kill this human! Time to swat down the flies before picking the legs off this insect. the hard way. Your strength is almost feral. To think that you are able to completely neutralize even a Definian, clearly we were correct to side with you humans. I hope you will continue to eradicate all who would do harm to us. Your tone inspires great confidence. You blades are a far more skilled pack of assassins than the Definians. In any case, let us hurry back to New LA. We have no time to waste. We must assemble as many of our numbers on this planet as... You were right. I will die. But I will not go being mocked by insects. I will not go alone. Ah, my ova fades. This is death then, but there is so much left to do. No, we were too late. Do not fret, Sunseleg. You live still. I do not have long, but yes. Then let us use Senirapa water to pass your knowledge and will on to the next generation. Kunluarb. This is the last of our Senirapa water, if we use it now. We may find a new source of Senirapa water in time, but if Sunseleg's wisdom is lost, it is gone forever. Use the Senirapa water. Grow the life of Sunseleg. The miraculous water stirs the Ova to activity and grants continuity to our lives. Bear witness, human. This is the nature of an Orphean. 
Sunseleg, release your life into the light. Release your Ova into the light. It is the birth of Tonseleg and Tenseleg, divided from the life of Sunseleg. Then my name is Tonseleg? And I am Tenseleg. Correct, new children of the Ova. I am pleased we were in time. <gasps> so you see, human, we do not engage in inefficient animal-like reproductive methods. We multiply by fission using the medium of Senirapa water. Such is the power of the Ova. It is not a is it not a marvelous way of existence? Many other races have shown an inability to understand. But it seems you humans are a special lot. I am sorry that you do not have Ova of your own. But Kunluarb, what are we to do now that we have used the last of the Senirapa water? Do you think the four of us and our two new kin are enough to survive on this planet? We will return to New LA and make our plans there. With our wisdom and the guidance of the Ova, we will find the proper course. I will follow wherever you see fit to lead, Kunluarb. Or rather, I have complete trust in the Ova's urges to place my trust in your judgment. I will return to the city at once. I thank you, human. Though Sunseleg's life was lost, the worst outcome was avoided. I hope you will continue to be the strength of a strengthless people and to aid in the survival and prosperity of the Orphi. There's, um, treasure here. A lot of really interesting lore about the aliens. I love the Orphi, the Zaraboggan. The cat people are probably the least interesting to me, because, I mean, they're just like cat people. Not really that interesting, but I know a lot of people do like them. Oh, I love the man on too, they're so cute. All right. Ario. Hi. Didn't know there were more quests involving her. Or rather, I forgot. When facing a new challenge or preparing to embark on a new endeavor, do you ever sense the whispers of the will within you? To put the question in more human terms, do you ever get gut feelings? Yes, it's called my gaydar. I see. If you were an Orphean, you would no doubt be in close communication with the Ova inside you. I have felt the presence of Senirapa water deep in Noctilum. That knowledge is clearly a gift from my Ova. For as long as we have that water, the Orphe survive. I fear I must go to Noctilum at once. I would ask your assistance. Thank you. My preparations are complete, save two miss missing ingredients for the rations. Three pieces of Lorgunis driftwood and four heads of Sardellana lettuces must be found before I can depart. Mm, exhaustion is setting in. The Ova within me has begun to recede. I must find the water while I still have the Ova's guidance. Oh, it is you. I fear I was half asleep. It seems the strength of my Ova is ebbing. If you have what I requested, please give it to me. Fine work. I knew I could depend upon you. Now I must hurry to Noctilum. Thank you, but I wish to focus all my energies on hearing the voice of my Ova, and for that I must be alone. Huh? That's it? Huh, damn. I leave at once for Noctilum. Huh. Strange. Yep. 
yo Might you be the one who assisted Kun Luarb? I gave him some lettuce. I, I didn't really assist him that much. Before departing, he left me a message. He said that if something were to happen to him and we were unable to find a source of Senirapa water, I should come to you for help. He is not. And as Noctilim is a terrible place full of vicious primordial creatures, I fear something may have happened to him. Which brings me to my request. I want to ask you to go to Noctilim and search for Kun Luarb. When you find him, inform him that we have completed development of a new technology. We are now able to use the extremely pure water of Biano Lake to synthesize Sanirapa water so long as we have a source sample. If he is able to locate even a small amount, we will again have the means to multiply and survive. I hope that that will ease the burden of his search a bit. The water he brings home will be the key to the future of us Orpheans. Please find him, whatever it takes. Gah! You! Have you come to save me? Then I am sorry, but your mission has failed. The chances of my survival are zero. I was dealt an overwhelming blow from a primordial creature. Most of my organs have ruptured. No Orphean could survive this. No, it is fine. Do not waste your efforts. Life is a transient thing. What matters is that I have found a, a drop of Sinirapa water. I do not mind dying. If I can use this drop to divide, that is enough. I will have no regrets. The new lives born of me will surely find more Sinirapa water. Wait. What of Conluarb's research? He sent you here, did he not? What? He perfected a replication method? Ugh. That changes everything. My own desire to divide is of no importance. Take this capsule containing the drop of Senirapa water. Use it to populate Mira with Orphe. Yes, that is the will... Of the Ova. Thank you, Bloom. You are very kind. And I do wish to leave behind new life. But I must not. I searched all over Noctilum and only found this single drop. Lose that and there is no telling where on Mira more might be found. Please, take it. Use it to save the Orphe. Thank you. I believe that is what you humans say in times like these. Perhaps seeing you here once more before the end is thanks to the guidance of the Ova. I will use the water. I have opened the capsule. Ova, receive the water of life. I'm certain Senirapa water exists on Mira. You must find it. Find it and bring it to Konluarb. 
Uh, uh, my ova, it divides. Hmm? Where am I? And you, you are human. I know you, Bloom. You saved us. Bloom. Yes, I have heard that name before. Sinluar. Hear the voice of the Ova. Kunluarb lives on within us. Kunluarb? Kunluarb. Yes, we were born of him. We are the inheritors of Kunluarb's Ova. Kunluarb desired the prosperity of the Orphi. He left that task to you, Bloom. Newly born as we are, we cannot yet search for Senirapa water. So please, honor your promise to Kunluarb. Find the water he sought. We will return to Kunluarb. Do not worry, we know the way. Or perhaps I should say, we remember it. Why do they look different? They're like naked, but the other ones that divided weren't naked. Huh. So apparently there are multiple locations that you can get it from. One of them is the mouth of Headwater Cavern at the Anno Lake. Where is it again? I'm completely disoriented because I'm used to going here on foot. So you could have just, uh, taken the water and, uh, he wouldn't have used it. And then you don't have to find more. But it's a different ending. Really? What? Okay. Whenever I speak with Simluarb and Senluarb, I feel Kunluarb's ova flowing strong within them. His death re represents a huge loss to the Orphi, yet I am glad he was able to divide in the end. We must obtain a sample of Senirapa water so that more of my kind may enjoy the same happiness. Has there been any progress in your search? Ah, this is Senirapa water without a doubt. Now I should be able to manufacture sufficient water for all the Orphi. In times, this city will be rife with my kind. Do you suppose humans will welcome this? You humans are a generous and open race. I will trust in that as I endeavor to create vast numbers of Orphe within the city. Thank you for your help. We Orphe will now embark on the next phase of our own life on Mira. Know that our new brothers yet to be born will inherit a sense of deep gratitude for all you have done. there, friend. Would you lend an ear to some of my poetry? The words are free if you wish it, though tips are always welcome. I'm not some low-rent hustler, if that's what you're thinking. I merely wanted to offer your day a poetical parenthetical. Though mo most claim my works are disturbing. One reviewer even called them incantations more befitting the wailing of the damned. Egads, how is it you know of the tragedies of my past? The mass disappearance just after our arrival here on Mira. 
The three of us were left behind as everyone else involved simply vanished. I'd assume the truth of that incident would remain forever obscured, and yet... No, this is fate. The will of the heavens. A chance of which never dared dream. O oh, muse, thou art a beast of fire. If you would hear more of the Celeste Three, then I must ask something of you. Uh, but not here. Too many ears. If these scrabbling wretches knew that we carried a load of white gold, the streets would burn with the chaos of avarice. Let us speak in the diner at night when the secrets of men might better sink, slink soft around every fog-beshrouded corner. Midnight it is, then. I shall await you at the repentant diner in the industrial district. It's no trouble if you are a bit late. I shall abide there until the first pale rays of dawn alight my pancake stack. Thank you for coming. I suppose I should begin with an explanation of the incident. Anyway, yes, it was a short while after we crashed here on Mira, just over a month ago now. A large convoy of blades were transporting a sizable shipment of rare white gold. But they suddenly disappeared, and their cargo along with them. They called the few of us who remained the Celeste Three. But this was no paranormal phenomenon such as the urban legends claim. I've heard talk it was the work of a supernatural force or an alien abduction. Some even claim the spectral hand of ghosts were involved. Alas, no, it was simply a slaughter. Briggs, the team leader, wanted the white gold for himself and, maddened by the sickness of greed, began killing the others. And I helped him. God save me, but I did, in fear for our own lives, myself and a man named Morehouse helped murder our own. Briggs had us move the white gold to a hiding place, then sent out an SOS and waited for help to arrive. We swore to tell no one of our dark deeds, and to a man bespoke an oath of silence. Then we returned to the city and assumed the role of victims. Just three men caught up in an inexplicable incident. Ah, Crusader for right. I saw it in your eyes the moment we met, which is why I brought you here to beg this boon. Unfortunately, Briggs was a ste step ahead of us the whole time. He vanished soon after we returned to NLA, along with the white gold. After this whole chain of events, all I was left with was a marble-sized chunk of white gold ore. You must take it, and meet with Morehouse. He was closer to Briggs than I was, and may know something of his current whereabouts. Morehouse is a suspicious man, but this bauble should convince him, for he and I hold the only two in existence. I leave this in your hands, then. Just remember that he is in the same circumstances as I. Once he realizes what's happening, I'm certain he'll cooperate. Hello. Something you need? Who are you? Why are you here? I want to be left alone. If you've got no business here, get going. And if you do, make it quick. Fosdyke? The name is vaguely familiar, but I have no recollection of the man. Gave you that, did he? Well, I'll be. Seems the man sees something worthwhile in you. I assume he told you I'm not the trusting type. Well, I'm also not stupid enough to put my life in some stranger's hands. I need you to pass a test before this goes any further. Go kill five C4 fixes. If you can't handle at least that much, Briggs will eat you alive. Okay.
Why can't I just like say I did it and then like not do it? Come on, just one more, please. Actually did it. You took those C4 fixes down? Hmm, you might actually stand a chance against him. Alright, I'll talk. I take it Fosdyke informed you of the particulars? I know everything. Good. Spare me the efforts. Riggs is holed up in the bowels of Molten Hollow. Bet you're wondering why anyone would pick a place like that to live, eh? Well, he's got a giant safe there. Built the thing himself. He's not letting anyone near that white gold. Greedy bastard will do anything it takes to keep his prize. He ruined my life and Fosdyke's. Still better than what the others got. Please, he's got to be stopped. You make that happen and I'll atone for my part in this horror story any way you like. Oh, we haven't been to Molten Hollow yet, have we? Oh my gosh. Oh.
do this the hard way. That was a cinch. All right, let's do this. Close in and nail him. Here we go. Get those auras ready. Who are you? There's only two people that know about this place, and you're not one of them. How did someone who's not part of the Celeste Three possibly find me here? <laughs> Execute Briggs without further discretion. What? Fosdyke and Morehouse sold me out? No, those two wouldn't betray me. They couldn't. You're lying, trying to mess with my mind. Well, I'm not falling for it. You die here, liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Target neutralized. Returning to standby. All right, I give up. I've been sitting around this hole too long when I should have been practicing my tactics. Please, let me share the truth before I die. What did Fosdyke and Morehouse tell you? That I was hoarding the white gold for myself? Look at me. I lost my job as a blade. I live in this hovel while Fosdyke and Morehouse are comfortable in the city. They live normal lives while I stay here day after day guarding this damnable white gold. And it's not even mine. It's their gold. They're forcing me to be here. Please, you gotta set me free. You believe those backstabbers over me? Then here, open the safe and have a look at the white gold for yourself. That should be proof enough. Here's the key. It's yours. Present key to open safe. Scanning. Validating. Match confirmed. Key one of four verified. Please present next key. <laughs> Get a load of this idiot. Works every time. Let me clue you in, Bloom. That safe only opens with all four of our keys. One for each survivor. Don't you worry about the number of keys. You won't live to see that safe opened anyway. One more nosy fool taken care of, eh, Fosdyke? Oh, indeed. Once they hear a tale of sordid betrayal, so such do-gooders are all too eager to lend a hand. They'll doubt one side or the other, but no one thinks to doubt the entire story. We humans are such a simple lot. And speaking of simple, you've made your own disposal quite convenient. No one will ever find you out here, let alone suspect us. Briggs, you should have been an actor. Even I bought that. Is that supposed to be sarcasm, kid? And forget simple. People are just greedy, risking their lives to come crowned for a shiny piece of metal. Like you can talk. Or you. And double for you. Now let's finish up here.
us a warm up. Why did they just like lock me in the safe? That would have been cool. I only have three keys, so I can't open it yet. And I uh, forgot about the next quest. <laughs> <laughs> 